Hey, thank you for jumping on to It's Relational. My name is Mike Hammer, and we're all about relationships here. We want to help people and inspire people to create great relationships, recover and heal from wounded ones, and reconcile with those still broken. Now, if this is your first time or you've been watching for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe if you would. And also turn on your notification. Just ring that happy little bell just like that and you'll be happy that you did because then you won't miss out on any future content. Now, the topic today is learning how to revelationize your devotional life. Wouldn't you love to get more uh, revelation out of your devotional time with the Lord? Well, I found a very easy and effective way to do that is by using the SOAP Devotional Guide. What's that, do you ask? Well, SOAP is an acronym that stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. And you use that guide to revelationize your devotional time. And really, all you need is a Bible, a journal, something to write with, and you're good to go. Now, there are all kinds of options out there for journals. Uh, just get online and do a search and you'll find a lot of different options. I happen to use the Life Journal. I like it because it's got everything in it. It has the writing pages. It has the Bible reading plan. It has an index. It has also a place to put prayer requests down. It has uh, scriptures that are a little bit from the Old Testament and the New Testament, which I kind of like to use in my Bible reading plan. But that's just one. They have it for kids. They have it for youth. Uh, but there's also other options. I was online looking and there's this one, it's called the Personalized Journal. And it's neat because the, the scriptures are personalized. They put your name in there. So the verse that says, be still and know that I am God, it would, it would say, now Mike, today be still and know that I am God. You know, it's, I think it's kind of neat. It really brings it close to home. And God's word is personal to each and every one of us. So what I do is I set aside time to remove distractions, to get alone. And to be honest, I can be alone in my thoughts in a crowded coffee shop. I know it's kind of weird. But you want to just be able to uh, stop and to just focus in on God's Word. And I simply breathe a prayer. Holy Spirit, reveal your Word to me today. Say something to me that will help me to draw closer to you and to follow you more closely. Then I start reading the passage of the day. It could be several verses. It could be several chapters. And I'll begin to read. And as I read, I'll pay attention to moments when uh, maybe I stop on a word or a phrase that just really grabs my attention. I look at that as a way that the Holy Spirit is saying, all right, park there for a little bit, Mike. Stop there. There's something there for you. So sometimes I'll begin journaling right there at that point spot or I'll go ahead and finish my reading and then come back and begin journaling. So then I go to the writing pages. I write a big old S standing for scripture and I'll write out the scripture, the verse, the phrase that jumped out at me. And I really look at that as a way that that's the beginning process where God is downloading uh, his truth into my heart. And just by writing it out, all of a sudden something begins to happen. Then I move on to making some observations. I put a big O on the page and I write my observations. And this is where you look at the text, some of the details around it. A good study Bible is helpful at this point, but you're going to you know, ask who is the writing this, who's the audience, kind of the what, when, where, and why uh, questions. Just trying to understand the context of, of the Bible verse. And you can write these out in bullet points or phrases. I mean, some of you are great writers and you're just going to have great uh, uh, literary language. But, you know, just keep it simple. Just make it, make it you. Uh, and so you're making some observations about the text. Then I move on to the application part. I write an A on the page and I begin to make some applications. And this, honestly, is where it comes alive to me. This is where the Holy Spirit takes a methodical, mechanical devo and turns it into, it's revelationized, I should say. And uh, God begins to speak and he, uh, His Word comes alive. And it's amazing how God shows you action steps, things that you can do as a result 
of what you just read. Then I move on to the prayer section, which is simply writing out a prayer. Mine is usually very simple. It's like, oh God, thank you once again for being faithful and speaking truth to my heart. I am going to take this to heart and I'm going to make some changes, but I need the help of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, at this point, you might think your devotions is over, but guess what? Here comes a very important part. What I do is I go to the table of contents in my journal. If, if yours doesn't have one, you just create one where you put a date, you put the scripture that you journal, and you put a title to that journal session uh, as well as a page number. And now what you've created, you've created a reference that you can go back to and refer back to so that when you're with somebody maybe having coffee and you're kind of talking about what God is saying to you lately, uh, you won't be lost. You won't be like, well, you know, he said something the other day, but I just can't remember. Now you can, you know, here, here's what God said to me three days ago, and this was awesome. And you're able to share it. Now you have a word of encouragement from God's word uh, through you to somebody else. Instead of always needing somebody to encourage you, you need an encouraging word. Now you can become an encourager. And so now you'll have a testimony. Now you'll have a word to give and you'll be able to share what God is saying to you. And that's what I love about this as this well. This isn't journaling your thoughts and feelings necessarily about how you're doing. There's, that's good and that's therapeutic. That's helpful. But this is taking God's Word and journaling His Word and His truth and uh, asking God to help him to internalize it and to bring His truth so it'll be a reality in your everyday life. So I found this to be incredibly effective. Again, uh, in the show notes below, there are links to some of these journals and some other ideas. So I encourage you, get started today to revelationize your devotional life. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can be the first to hear about new content coming out every week. God bless you. Have a great day.